this has a certain weight and it's not from its mass if you know you know let me show you something Yes, uh, we got a new bike. The one you've seen in the previous two videos that I made videos is more than two decades old. We got that when I was three years old. Uh, we got a new bike now. That's exciting. Enough being a motorhead. This video is about my war, not fight, war with Silvan. The war of water cooling and air cooling. You see, as you know, uh, I release two interviews every week. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to interview so many amazing people that I get to release two interviews every week. And these are in 1080p. Have you tried editing 4K footage on a 2080 Ti? That is an, an hour long or less or more. Multiple of these. Don't. Seriously, trust me, don't. It's, it's very frustrating. And try training models in parallel. It's impossible. So releasing two episodes, editing that, uh, fixing up the quality, all that stuff takes a lot of compute and Neutron, my previous PC, had 120 Ti, which is a ridiculous GPU, but that's not enough when you have to release two episodes every week. And as you know, I had committed to this goal of releasing two episodes every Thursday, every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific without fail for no reason, just because I want to write Madman on my resume uh, and as a test to my tenacity. So to get back into this world of deep learning and to be able to train models, I was desperately looking for an upgrade. And this was right around the time when NVIDIA announced the BF GPUs, the 3000 series, the RTX 3090. Uh, so the thing is, in my previous PC, not mine actually, it was built with me and my buddy Rishi, both of us bought it. The best things in life aren't free, they are business expensed. We business expensed, expensed? expended expense that PC to save taxes but that was my first PC didn't have a second slot for another GPU actually you did but you know with my 2080 and you couldn't really fit another one so I was really looking to build a new PC and this was the perfect excuse I ended up starting my research on figuring out how to fit my 2080 Ti from the previous PC into this one Along with the 3090, maybe leave space for more of these because I really wanted to make sure that you could fit two or more of these. And essentially since September 2nd, for the remaining few weeks, all I did was go to PC part picker list, watch Linus Tech Tip videos, watch Gamers Nexus, ask on Fast AI forums, we even started forum thread ask on reddit everywhere on how to find a motherboard that can fit possibly to 3090s just because i really wanted to get back into deep learning or really train more models than i was able to and build a pc that doesn't later that does later allow 
an upgrade. I spent a lot of time on all of these things and nothing was making sense. See, the problem with the 3090 is it's a really thick GPU. Thick. Three PCI slot thick. And to be able to accommodate that, you need a weird case, probably as big as this, maybe. A motherboard that can accommodate that. And of course, the other hardware problems that go around with it. Tim Detmers himself was kind enough to do an interview about RTX 3000 series. I asked him a lot of questions and that was uh, one of the top watched videos from this period. So that really speaks to how much the community wanted answers to these topics, I assume. But nothing was really making sense. I couldn't find a PC that would 100% fit to 3090s. And my challenge was to keep it air cooled. Of course, I'm not good at liquid cooling. I'm not comfortable with water flowing around my PC. PC components that are $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 worth in price. And then still wanted to do this. Even Julian, he caught onto the bandwagon and called me out. But I decided to stick on the air cooling side of things. I decided to fight my fight and continued my research, even though nothing was making sense. So I decided to reach out to the kind folks at and PC, the PC where I got my previous PC from and ask them for a ridiculous build, a no limits, no budget limits build that could fit to 3090s. And even they weren't sure. Mind you, this is before even the graphic cards was released. I wasn't even sure how the shortage was going to be with the supply, which it still is. But I was just so excited to upgrade my PC that uh, this is basically what I did. So ask them, I need an upgrade in possibly reusing as many components from Neutron. Make sure it fits to 3090s and a crazy amount of RGB in it. I actually first asked them for the best RGB fans, best on quote unquote in the sense that and had to cut down on a bit. I still ended up spending $500 on RGB just to impress Julian. Julian, if you're watching this, the amount spent on RGB is just for you. But yes, that was my request. And after a lot of discussion, a lot of back and forth, we find a we found a solution. A solution that can accommodate two 3090s and utilize all of the parts from Neutron. And I'm calling it quite smartly Proton. Sylvan, Julian, this Friday, the air cooling resistance fights back. This Friday, I'll show you how to air cool, not two, three GPUs. A Titan, a 3090 and a 2080 Ti. Yes, how many, how many generations of GPUs can you fit in one PC? Yes. How many flagships can you fit in one PC? Yes. So this Friday, the air cooling resistance fights back.